If you've ever played a video game or watched a movie, chances are you've thought to yourself, could I recreate what I just witnessed in the real world? Well, the G4 series Proving Ground sought to answer this burning question by replicating concepts seen in video games like Mario Kart and Mortal Kombat, and movies like Star Wars and The Goonies. But less than a week after the show's premiere, Ryan Dunn, co-host on Proving Ground, passed away in a fatal car accident, leaving the network uncertain about the series' future. We'll be discussing G4's Proving Ground in today's episode of Looking Back. Just over a month prior to Proving Ground's June 14th premiere date, G4 announced the show via a press release on their website. Proving Ground had a pretty simple premise. Take memorable pop culture moments and test them in real world situations. Before the show even aired, I remember seeing a lot of people comparing Proving Ground to the Rooster Teeth web series Immersion, which debuted over a year prior to the announcement of Proving Ground and had the exact same concept. Personally, I couldn't help but compare it to Blastazoid which was a one-time special that aired on MTV2, hosted by Ryan's Viva La Bam co-stars, Brennan DiCamillo and Ray Kion. But Proving Ground would be co-hosted by Ryan Dunn and Jessica Chobot. At this point in time, Ryan Dunn was very well known, mostly for a stunt involving a little blue toy car. But he had also just wowed audiences with his performance in Jackass 3D, a movie that grossed over $171 million worldwide at the box office. So he was more than relevant enough to carry the show on his own. But Ryan wasn't exactly known for his pop culture expertise, so Jessica Chobot was brought in to carry that portion of the series. At that time, Jessica was most known as the host for IGN's Daily Fix. Well, actually, she was probably best known as the girl who took a picture of herself licking a PlayStation Portable, which went viral and inspired several parodies during the mid-2000s. Joining Ryan and Jessica on screen were various crew members, such as Oscar, who was tasked with rigging up the equipment used on the show, along with a number of crew members who acted as human test dummies, such as series producer Farshad, who you might recognize from his time on the YouTube automotive channel Salamandran, where he was known as Fargini and was constantly seen hanging around expensive sports cars. So it's pretty wild to see him humiliating himself on camera here on Proving Ground by walking into a restaurant wearing an electric shock collar designed for dogs. Oh, he's going, he's going. Wait till he has the drinks. All right, ready? Wait, wait till he starts wait, walking. He All right, do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> he is mad. There really isn't a lot of information about the production of Proving Ground out there, but from what I can tell, Ryan Dunn didn't have to audition as a host. The show was basically made with him in mind. Which makes sense, because a lot of the producers and crew members had previously worked with him on Viva La Bam, so they knew what to expect from him as a cast member. But the role of his co-host required an audition, and apparently, Jessica Chobot almost passed on it, because she was nearly killed in a scooter accident just a few days prior to the audition, but seemingly pulled herself together and nailed the audition. On the surface, you would probably look at Ryan Dunn and Jessica Chobot side by side and think to yourself that this would be a terrible duo. You know. Done with his beard, looking like a tatted up version of Alan from the Hangover movies. Many of his close friends and acquaintances claim that he rarely bathed. I didn't shower after the poo dive for at least a week, I know that, and it could have been much longer. I can't remember the last time I showered. <laughs> and Jessica was seemingly the exact opposite of that. But surprisingly, they worked really well together. I would describe our relationship as slightly attracted to each other with intense sibling rivalry which sounds gross. Yeah, it's mostly like brother and sister. Uh, definitely screw with each other as much as possible. <laughs> and uh, I can only take her in small installments. Proving Ground debuted on June 14th, 2011, with, in my opinion, one of the show's best episodes, in which the cast and crew were tasked with recreating the classic Nintendo racing game, Mario Kart, in real life. The aforementioned electric shock collar was used to replicate the lightning attack item. A small tube mounted to the go-kart was used to recreate the oil slick obstacles. Nitrous oxide tanks were used to replicate the mushroom speed boost item. An air cannon filled with meatballs was used to replicate the green shell attack item. And the crew attempted to recreate the banana peel item, but it didn't exactly work. So bananas weren't included in the final portion of the episode, referred to as the proving ground. And man, I swear, every time I see Ryan strolling around the corner dressed as Toad from the Super Mario games, I lose it made even more hilarious when he can barely fit into his go-kart with that massive mushroom helmet on his head. Damn it, will you look at me when I'm talking to you? I, 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 my peripheral vision is somewhat hindered in this outfit. This is standard. <laughs> right here's maxed. Standard. 
Max. Also, the portion where they tested different projectiles was absolute gold. That's cake on Ryan's face, by the way. Fantastic. Oh! How could I not see that coming? Do I have something on my face? <laughs> I remember watching the introductory episode of Proving Ground as it aired. It was a lot of fun, and I was really excited to check out the next one. But unbeknownst to myself and everyone else who tuned in, the next episode wouldn't be airing as planned. It's now 14 after the hour. Once again, here's Ann. Matt, thank you. Police are investigating the cause of a fiery car crash that killed two people, including Ryan Dunn, one of the stars of the once popular MTV show Jackass. Less than a week after the premiere of G4's Proving Ground, on June 20th of 2011, Ryan Dunn passed away in a car accident. As a result, the second episode of Proving Ground, which was set to air the very next day, was pulled from G4's programming schedule, leaving the network executives to decide on what to do next with the show. But on June 27th, it was announced that G4 would be airing the remaining eight episodes of Proving Ground in its original 8 p.m. time slot, just under a month later, on July 19th. G4 president Neil Tiles stated, Ryan was an incredible talent who will be missed tremendously by his fans, including G4 viewers. With the support of Ryan's family, we've decided to air the remaining episodes of G4's Proving Ground and give his fans the opportunity to continue watching this series he was so passionate about. G4 also aired a special one-hour edition of the series Attack of the Show, dedicated to Ryan, directly before the second episode of Proving Ground aired, with a video tribute featuring dedications by Tony Hawk, Rob Deerdeck, Terry Kennedy, and Bam Margera, followed by an interview with Ryan's Jackass co-stars, Preston Lacey, Dave England, and Jason Weeman Acuna. And finally, a heartfelt interview with Ryan's Proving Ground co-host, Jessica Chobot. Oh, I thought I had this under control. I'm sorry. Um, no, no need to apologize. What made us click is that uh, we both don't like to shower. <laughs> and <laughs> it's true. And uh, and uh, we both kind of had an, uh, the same sense of humor. I mean, you know, I, I people on G4 have gotten to see more of my personality lately because of the things that I've covered. And, you know, they're like, wow, you're a total spaz. And yeah, I am. And, you know, and, and he was in his own way, too. He was just a little bit more grumpy. And, so, you know, that really, though, something about, I felt like I could trust him. So yeah. it, um... It was like having a best friend in the shortest amount of time you could possibly have. I rewatched all nine episodes of Proving Ground for this video, which thankfully someone archived from years back and uploaded to YouTube. I'll include a link to that playlist in the description below. And Proving Ground especially hammers home just how in his prime Dunn was during this period of his life. I always found him hilarious, but he just seemed so carefree on this show which resulted in some of the funniest moments of his career, in my opinion. For example, after Ryan and Jess interviewed Corey Feldman for their Proving Ground episode surrounding the movie The Goonies, Ryan, inspired by Corey's hair, shows up in the next scene with a thin bang on the front of his head, along with the teleportation scene in the Star Trek episode. So to get to the nitty gritty, teleportation really is impossible. No, not for people. Maybe sometime in the future, but certainly not now. Then how do I get over here? I mean, since teleportation isn't possible, do... Then explain how I got here. You walked there! I, I watched you leave the room! Yeah, try selling that to the crowd. And finally, this classic quote from the show's Harry Potter episode. Harry Potter's <laughs> must hurt, like, all the time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And while I don't think that the show would have gotten a second season, not for lack of quality, but rather because G4 was really struggling in viewership numbers during this time, but going back and watching Proving Ground in 2021, makes me think about the fact that Ryan Dunn, even after more than a decade of work in the television and film industry, still had so much to offer and had yet to hit his peak prior to his untimely passing. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.